Minister of Education, the Honorable Priya Manichan, has urged Contracting Service International Import and Supplies to give government its worth, fair and square. Friday afternoon, the Education Minister witnessed the signing of the contract between the Contracting Service and Permanent Secretary Mr. Alfred King on behalf of the Ministry of Education for the expansion of Northwest Secondary School. As you know, one of our promises is to develop and enhance our offerings at the technical vocational level. And that sounds all well, ni nice and well, but we can't enhance anything if we don't have the facilities in place. And so this program here, an $832 million US program, 1000 US dollar program, is going to allow us to offer to the people of Northwest, of the Northwest District, those students at Mabaruma, the ability to be able to become more employable, to get more skills to develop themselves through the usage of this facility. Speaking of the many delayed and unfinished projects the PPPC government encountered upon coming into office, Minister Manichan implored the contractor to keep his part of the agreement and complete the task on time. That brings me to the issue that we've had to face repeatedly. And it's a serious and vexing issue. And I'm not speaking to this contractor alone, but I am speaking to this contractor today. Um, but to contractors who will engage with the Ministry of Education. It is not because we like to quarrel or I like to be a perfectionist that we ask for quality work delivered in a timely manner. It is because if you don't give us that, you're robbing children and students and people of what we promised them we'd be able to deliver. I want to urge this particular contractor, International Import and Supplies, if you want this contract fair and square, give us our worth fair and square. For sure. The contract sum of $166.5 million has been secured through the Carbon Development Bank. Minister Manichan said the project is aimed at improving government's capacity to deliver technical, vocational, education and training TVET programs equitably across the sector. The scope of the project include construction of a two-story building to house three workshops for motor vehicle repairs, electrical installation and furniture making among other upgrades. The project should be completed in 10 months.